I think this is going to work. All right, let's get in a good spot here. I always like to look at my electric meter in the background. That always helps. And uh, in the place where they replaced the door, that looks kind of interesting. All right, let's get started here. Um, we'll have Facebook to build us a bit of an audience. And we shall begin. Let's see. Jeremy, good to have you on this morning. Let's see who else jumps in to join us here. Uh, over the next couple of minutes and we'll get ourselves started. I want to talk about fueling your dream Interesting term fueling your dream. So uh, let's let's see what we can do with this today because Something has to drive that dream something's got to be, make it possible We're going to talk about that in just a minute as we begin to grow an audience I want to tell you uh, I will have somebody join me on Thursday on Thursday I'm gonna have Several months ago, I shared in a live feed the fact that I had been training a young man in Michigan and he was involved in a horrible accident. I talked about texting while you were driving. He was not, but somebody hit him at 80 miles an hour who was texting. And Brandon has gone through um, years of rehabilitation. He went through months of being in a coma and he is now taking that message about not texting and driving at the same time uh, to the rest of the world. But Brandon's an amazing guy. And so I want to I want to have him on with me on Thursday. So look forward to that. I will, I will have him join me. Uh, he's not ever done that before. So this is going to be an interesting experience for him. I'm looking forward to that because I want to share his message with you, uh, his message of hope and inspiration and what has happened in his life as a result of the accident that he's gone through. So I'm looking forward to, to sharing that with you on Thursday. So that will be teed up for Thursday. Today, I want to talk about fueling your dream. Tomorrow will be the coffee shop show uh, with Tom Rigsby and myself do the top coffee shop show uh, downtown in beautiful Huntsville, Alabama at a little neighborhood called Five Points. And we have an amazing coffee shop there. So that's where we go on Wednesdays. So today I want to talk about fueling your dream. Yesterday, I mentioned the fact that when I was teaching school as a career counselor, and as a career counselor, uh, students would come in and they always had this this idea: this is what I'm going to do, this is why I'm going to do it, this is how I'm going to do it, uh, this is this is um, th this is where I can make the most money, or this is the teacher that has inspired me the most, or this is what my parents want me to do. And so yesterday, we talked about making it your dream. Is it your dream? And most of us have gotten past that high school time. But we still have this carrot that dangles out there. Tom talked about it a little bit this morning. Still have that carrot hanging out there that says, um, if you get this education, you will get this opportunity. Um, that's not simply not true. It's just simply not true. What you get when you get finished with that is you have become a student. And the way you fuel your dream isn't to be a student. The way you fuel your dream is to be a seeker. It's so important that we have a handle on accurate truth. If we're going to, if we're going to have a dream, if we're, going to, if we're going to take something someplace that is in our mind right now, we've got to have, that's our dream, okay? That's kind of the, I, I, I listened to um, another friend of mine do a live feed this week talking about Walt Disney and, and, and the vision that he had. He and his family loved to go to Disney and so uh, he uses Disney a lot in his illustrations and Disney was an amazing guy. Um, but but uh, that dream, that, that dream of, of um, uh, being able to see something out there that doesn't exist yet and of course Walt Disney died before his first theme park opened and and somebody said uh, to his brothers, too bad that Walt couldn't be here to see this. He said, oh, he saw it way before, way before it became a reality. So um, now let's talk about how do we fuel that. We have to be a seeker. We have to be a seeker. So he had to know. There's some things that have to be known. We have to know, is there a market for what I want to do? Is there an opportunity for what I want to do? Is there something that I'm going to be able And we have to base that on accurate truth. We have to base that on some facts that will help to drive us. I listen to people all the time who have ideas, but what are you basing that idea on? What fuels that thing? 
There has to be some element there that's accurately portrayed. And a student will get old information. Textbooks get printed, things get included, things get added, and it takes a little time for that to go through the process and get into the system. You need to know what's happening right now. Right now. And a seeker is somebody who is looking for what's happening right now. They take a look at their environment, they find out what's going on, they make sure that they understand the situation, and they pursue it in that manner. A seeker, not a student. Somebody who is in pursuit of accurate truth, not somebody who's simply regurgitating stuff that they've heard from, the, from, from someone else. I have a, a, a phrase I always use with my graduating students, and it was this, don't let the spoon feed you. Don't let the spoon feed you. Feed yourself. You might use the spoon, but don't let the spoon feed you. Make sure that you are pursuing accurate truth. Because if you're doing that, if you do that and you do it diligently, it is amazing what will happen. Don't let the spoon feed you. Because if you do, if you do, then the only thing that you'll be pursuing is something that's been created by somebody else. Th th does that make any sense? Then it won't be your dream. Then it won't be your vision, it won't be your goal, it won't be the purpose for which you have put, put here. Gifted, talented, placed. So that you might be able to accomplish something that will make an impact in your world. All right? Hey Jim, you and I need to talk. Okay? Uh, give me a holler, Jim. I, I, I need to speak with you, so I appreciate you jumping in here. But it's so important. If we're going to fuel our dream, we've got to fuel it with accuracy. We've got to fuel it with things that are true. We have to fuel it with things that are current. We have to fuel it with the things that will really drive us. Because if I see a, if I'm a problem solver and I see a problem and I understand that problem and I seek out for a solution for that, if there's a problem now, you're not going to find the answer to it in some textbook someplace. You're going to find it by pursuing the truth wherever it takes you. You fuel your dream with accurate truth that you seek. And there's never been a better time in history for us to be able to seek out truth. Now we, can, we have all kinds of things that we can do. And we're connected in an international forum got Walt on and Joanna from two opposite sides of the world. I uh, have Leslie on from, 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 uh, from, I have Leslie on from Asia. And so we have an opportunity to be able to get input in places that are amazing. And we no longer live in our neighborhood. The problem that people have when they get stuck is that they've never been outside of their neighborhood. Well, today we can be all over the place. Max says he's in Alaska. and Yeah, we got people from everywhere. And you can just simply do this and talk to them and say, what do you think? Where does, where does this go? What's going on in your country? How do you do that? That, that? I've never been able to dream like I can now because I'm connected to the rest of the world. It's amazing what that can do for you. I'm trying to encourage you today to fuel your dream with accurate truth that's current, that's relevant, and that will make a difference as you make an impact in your world. Any comments before I close here? We've got uh, a number of people who've jumped in here and made positive comments about uh, seeking your dream, about fueling your dream. I'm getting some really cool comments here from this, but anything, any questions, anything that I can answer for you? Uh, maybe you want to share this with somebody else that you know. Let me see if there's anything else here before we go. Joanna says this makes sense. And so, yes, yes, and Jeremy says he's fueling his dream with Eric. So that's pretty cool. Um, but if there's anything at all, that's why we're here, okay? We're here to be an encouragement and a support to each other. So if I can help you in pursuit of your dream, let, be sure to let me know. Hit, give me a private message. Just hit me up with a private message. I'll be glad to talk with you. Uh, do that a lot. Do that with a lot of people. And so I, 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 would, I, would, I would love to be able to talk with you about how you might be able to pursue your dream and uh, how you might fuel that. Where do I get the information from? How do I base it on accurate truth? All of those kinds of things 
are really, really important. And so I appreciate you jumping in this morning. I appreciate you being on as we talk about how do we fuel our dream. Thank you for joining me today. I love you. I look forward to talking to you from the coffee shop tomorrow morning. All right, nine o'clock. See you then.